Hello, my name is Aldo Montano. I'm an assistant professor in gastroenterology and hepatology at the University of Alberta Hospital in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. On behalf of my colleagues from the Division of Gastroenterology and Liver Unit of the University of Alberta and the Cross Cancer Institute, I would like to discuss the study entitled Muscle Wasting is Associated with Mortality in Patients with Cirrhosis to be published in an upcoming issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Prognosis assessment of patients with liver cirrhosis remain a difficult task, and this is because the natural history is highly variable due to several factors, including the hepatic synthetic function, the presence and degree of portal hypertension, the etiology of the cirrhosis, and the possibility of resolution of the underlying damaging process and lastly because of the possibility of occurrence of hepatocellular carcinoma. Currently, child puke and male score constitute the best tools to predict mortality in patients with cirrhosis. The advantage of male score over child puke score are due to its objective variables uh, that include bilirubin, INR, and creatinine, rather than subjective evaluation of clinical findings, such as ascites and encephalopathy. However, Male score has also limitations, and this is mainly because the variability of biochemical parameters and also because the lack of evaluation of the nutritional and functional status of patients with liver cirrhosis. On the other hand, muscle wasting or sarcopenia is defined as low levels of muscle mass, specifically less than two standard deviation from the average muscle mass of healthy young adults. We know that sarcopenia is associated with aging. However, it can also present as a result of chronic disease or malignancy, and is associated to a decreased functional capacity and a higher risk of mortality. The objectives of this study were to establish the frequency of sarcopenia in a cohort of cirrhotic patients being evaluated for liver transplant, to evaluate the correlation of sarcopenia with conventional prognosis scores for patients with cirrhosis, and finally, to assess if the presence of sarcopenia is associated with mortality. For this, we include 112 patients with cirrhosis who were consecutively evaluated for liver transplant at the University of Alberta Hospital. And all patients had a CT scan at the third lumbar vertebra. For the muscularity and sarcopenia assessment, we use the CT image at the level of the third lumbar vertebra from each scan and these were analyzed with a special software. We used the third lumbar vertebra area because previous studies have shown a really good correlation between the abdominal area and the total body muscle mass. In this slide, we compare two patients with cirrhosis and identical body mass index of 32. The patient on the left had sarcopenia with a lumbar skeletal muscle index of 50, whereas the patient at the right did not have sarcopenia with a lumbar skeletal index of 70. In this table, we can see that 45 patients had sarcopenia, corresponding to 40% of the total. The frequency of sarcopenia was higher in male patients. Otherwise, there were no difference in the baseline parameters among sarcopenic and non-sarcopenic patients. Also, there were no difference regarding male, child puke score, and the etiology of liver cirrhosis between sarcopenic and non-sarcopenic patients. By univariate Cox regression analysis, ascites, encephalopathy, bilirubin, creatinine, albumin, sodium, INR, child puke, melt, and the presence of sarcopenia were significantly associated with mortality. However, in the multivariate analysis, only sarcopenia and the melt score were significantly associated with higher mortality. In this graphic, we can see how survival was worse among sarcopenic patients marked in red compared to non-sarcopenic patients marked in yellow. The median survival for sarcopenic patients was 19 months compared to 34 months in patients without sarcopenia. In conclusion, sarcopenia is a strong and independent predictor of mortality in cirrhosis, and sarcopenia does not correlate with the degree of liver dysfunction evaluated with conventional scores. Finally, the implications of this study are that the assessment of sarcopenia may allow better prediction of mortality among patients being evaluated or waiting for liver transplant. And the identifications of patients with cirrhosis and sarcopenia may permit early preventive strategies to maintain muscle mass and improve their outcome. 
Thank you for your interest in this study.